Another remarkable structure. But what can its purpose be? Actually, I can answer this one. In the Files 1K downloaded, there's a design for a launch pad for space vehicles. This is about 90% identical. Is it functional? I don't think so. Not if the inside is like the other towers. Wow. Imagine if it worked. Imagine if we could go up there. I mean, the stars, not the top of the tower. Although, that would be cool too. created something amazing. They just misunderstood what it was. They thought their great invention was the megastructure. But in fact, it was Miranda. And because they couldn't see that, they lost her. What would you say is your impression of the expedition so far? I think Alcatraz has done a heck of a job under these very trying circumstances. What about the decision to free Prometheus? Freeing the Prometheus entity was a calculated risk. But if it leads us to Byron, it was certainly worth it. It is saving one of our citizens that must be our first priority. Not this alleged theory of everything.
feel of it all is truly breathtaking. It really is. But is it a human scale? Or is it so enormous that it can only alienate us? Humans have always been happiest in small communities. Okay, I wanted to take a moment to talk to you. The truth is, realizing that Athena discovered a theory of everything really shook me. From the moment we landed here, I felt torn. I've almost been tempted to agree with the mayor of all people. But now, I just can't stop thinking that Byron was right. When I think about what we could do with the theory of everything, then what we're doing now sure looks like stagnation. I'm afraid that this is the future, and if we reject it, we're condemning ourselves to a slow death. Am I wrong? Tell me I'm wrong. I get it. I do. I'm not blind to the dangers. But all we do anymore is think about the worst-case scenario. You know, I didn't even realize how much I'd limited my own imagination. How I'd talked myself into just accepting this incredibly poor future we'd been offered. A future where things just keep getting slightly worse every day, and we accept it because... because we're ashamed of ourselves. Not of something we've done, but just of our existence. Like we're a virus on this planet. Like our humanity is a sin. I'm so tired of it, Wong K. I kept my head down. I focused on fixing things. But that's all I ever did. I never improved anything. I never built anything new. And when I imagine going on like this for thousands of years, that's a fate worse than death. It really is. We either live and grow and expand boldly and proudly, or we might as well switch ourselves off. We better, because I don't think I can handle the alternative.
notes, Athena and Cornelius called what they were doing the Noema Project. But in one case, vision, they just called it the machine. Because when you strip away all the fancy rhetoric, that's all it is. It's not a source of meaning or purpose. It's just another machine. watching the stream, but well done, 1K. Probably.
the myths of gods and titans. But as you approach the end of your journey, I will tell you the truth that all men fear. The truth that neither Pandora nor the Sphinx will face. There are no gods, son of man. There are no titans, no heroes to save you, no divine judge to weigh your soul against a feather. Nature has no will, and she is not your mother. There is only you, and the spark of the sublime that is your mind. As for myself, I never brought the flame to humankind as the stories tell. I only showed you where it was within yourselves.